hello youtube welcome back to an amazing video my name is Tunde Victor check out my instagram at stillens underscore visual in today's video i'm gonna be teaching you how i color graded this image from this right here to this so let's get started i'm just gonna delete this one right here and now we have this image right here first thing I did for this image is to add contrast using levels so I clicked my adjustment layers right here I click on levels and I'm going to hold my alternate and drag this inside until it's picky so I'm just going to leave it here like this you can see the before and the after why the second day I did for this image I use my black and white adjustment layer right here I click on black and white I change the blend mode I change the blend mode from normal here to multiply to multiply right here then I'm just going to play with the sliders so I'm going to take my red up to let's say 199 okay I'll take it to 199 and and then I'll take uh, it's too much 190 let's leave it to 195 then i'm gonna take my yellows to about i'm gonna take it up to about 140 or 143 okay i'm just gonna leave it at 140 then my greens i'm gonna take my greens my greens are already at 40 i'm gonna leave it at 40 40 greens 40 okay my cyan i'm going to take my cyan to 60 is already at 60 and i want my my blues are already at 20 so i'm just going to leave it like that so i'm going to reduce the opacity and change the opacity to about let's say 30 or uh, 39 29 no let's leave it at 30 32 34 is okay no 34 is okay i'm going to leave it at 34 34 you can see the before and the after you can just play with this slider depending on the kind of image you are looking to get depending on the kind of skin tool you want there are a lot of ways to color grade the image but this process is just the way I color graded this particular image so the next thing I did for this image is to use my hue and saturation I'm just going to open my hue and saturation right now and um, I'm only working with the reds and the yellows because I'm targeting only her skin and skin consists of red and yellows so for the hue for the red I'm just going to put plus 2 for the hue and I'll reduce this plus 2 no, or plus 2 is okay and I'm going to reduce saturation to let's say minus 10 minus 13 is okay okay and i'm gonna put the lightness to minus 7 just gonna put the lightness down a bit okay that's that as you can see we are getting closer yeah, sorry i'm just gonna go back to the yellows after working on the reds i'll go back to the yellows and for the yellows i'll take the hue and increase the hue to 5 and I'll reduce the saturation to about let's say 60 minus 60 yes I don't want I don't want to see any yellows on our skin uh, let's say 61 okay and for the lightness I'm gonna leave it like that as you can see our uh, before and after we are really getting close to the result we want we are almost there so the next thing I'll do for this image is to use my color balance adjustment layer right here what I want to do with this now I want to add colors to the highlights 
so I'm just gonna click here and change it to highlight I'm just gonna make little adjustments to the highlights I'm gonna add a little bit of greens to the highlights let's see three or four three is okay I'm gonna add a little bit of blues let's see two I'm gonna add two you don't have to overdo it you just have to do little adjustments to get good images as my boss will always say less is more so you can see the before and the after there's really no much difference with this one but it makes a lot of difference so next thing I did for this image was to add another black and white adjustment layer so I just click on adjustment layer black and white and the and this time I change the blend mode from normal to soft light because I want to add more contrast to the image so I'm just going to double click on this empty place right here and use the blend if option so I'm just going to double click on this empty space in the black and white right now So that I can adjust so I can adjust it okay it wasn't working before so what I'll do next I'm going to hold my alternate right here and drag this black to this white okay you can see the before and after it has added um, more contrast to the image before and after just a um, little difference just a little adjustment makes a whole lot of difference so the next thing I'll do for this image right here I'm gonna click on black and white adjustment layer again this time I'm not gonna do anything I'm gonna leave it in no on normal I'm just gonna reduce the opacity to about 10 or 11 let's say 10 so I'm just going to reduce the opacity to 10. I'm just going to reduce the opacity to 10. This was what it was before. Then I reduce the opacity to. Okay, let's leave it at 11. You can see the before and the after. We are almost there. Almost there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add um, photo filter to this image. I want to make the image a little bit warmer. You can make it cooler or warmer depending on what you want. But for this image, I want to make it a little bit warmer. So this is what photo filter is. And I just made layer. This one right here is photo filter. So I'm just going to click on the photo filter. It's already on warm. So I'm just going to reduce the density. This is the density. I'm going to reduce it to about 7. Uh, okay six is okay I'm gonna put it in six then I'm gonna reduce the opacity right here to about 20 let's say 25 oh, 23 22 is okay okay you can see the before and the after before and the after if you miss any step you can just watch the video again and pause it and do it you can do it that's why I'm taking it slowly, I'm not rushing it, I'm just taking it one step at a time. You can see the before and the after. We are almost there, just a few more steps to go. Okay, now we are almost at the final stage. So, the next thing I'll do for this image is to use the selective color adjustment layer. So in this selective color adjustment layer, I'm just going to work on the yellows and the reds. So what I'll do for these reds, I'm just going to add a little bit of cyan, just a little, let's say plus two. Then for the yellows, I'm going to add plus three to the yellows and I'm going to reduce the blacks just minus 19 or 20 maybe minus 20 then for the yellows let me zoom out so it's what I'm doing or zoom it rather whichever let me 
do it like this you see what I'm doing why for the yellows I'm just gonna reduce it to minus 20 26 or 27 we are good to go we are good to go as you can see our uh, before and uh, after this is what we just did just a little difference you can see the difference it makes just a little adjustments and you can see the difference the huge difference that made so the last but not the least what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add brightness to this image using curves adjustment layer so I'm gonna use the curve adjustment layer to add brightness this right here is the curve adjustment layer this one right here I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna come on default I'm gonna click on lighter RGB like that and maybe I'm gonna reduce the opacity I feel it's too bright I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit 66 is okay no it's too dark Sixty six, okay. Sixty four is okay. So you can see the before and the after. After adding the curve, so I'm just gonna group everything and let's see our overall before and after where we started from and where we are right now. Control G to group. So I'm just gonna off it. This was where we started from, from the beginning. This was after our dodge and burn, and this is what we did right now. This is the color grading. So, if you see this picture on my Instagram, this is how I color graded this image right here. So, if you want something exactly like this, just follow my step. You can also try it on other images. Uh, it might work for you. It might not work for the image. Depends on the kind of image you are using it for. I also have the free lot. I also have the free lot if you want the free lot please um just send me a message on instagram and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna send you the lot if you want it but this is how i color graded this image right here thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and um like leave a comment and uh, share with your friends also um on my next video i'm gonna be um retouching this video from start to finish i'm going to be retouching this particular image right here from start to finish so stay tuned see you in my next video